Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hat Chat. It's Thursday. I'm wearing a hat. My name's Rochelle. It must be time for Hat Chat. You are going to want to stay tuned today because we have a special announcement at the end of Hat Chat today. So if you are an ESGI user, you're going to want to stay tuned because we do have a special announcement about ESGI new tests. Please share this broadcast now. If you're watching it live, if you're watching it on the replay, also please share this broadcast for anybody who's an ESGI user and wants to hear the great announcement at the very end. So share this broadcast now. We really appreciate it. My guest today, you are going to want to stay tuned to hear about. She has got some fabulous ideas about assessment. Her name is Kathy Crane. Crane, and she is from Kindergarten Kiosk. Oh my gosh, that is way too many. Let me start over. Kathy Crane, Kindergarten Kiosk. It's so hard to say, but she's such a great person. She's my friend, soon to be your friend. Let's bring her on in. And here she is. Hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, you say your whole name and your blog title because it'll roll off your tongue. I did it on purpose. <laughs> Kathy Crane, Kindergarten Kiosk. <laughs> See? <I practiced. laughs> so good, you guys. You're going to want to follow her on her website and on her blog. She's got a lot of great ideas, and we're super happy to have her here today. Kathy, tell us about your hat. Well, this is my cruise hat. And I only get to wear it on cruises, so I was excited to wear it today. And I've worn it so many times that it keeps stretching out, so I had to tie a scarf around it to hold it in. I love that you cruise. Where was your favorite pr place that you cruised to? Uh, probably the Southern Caribbean. I, love, I love that too. And I've had a hat like that too. And the reason it stretches out is because you get too much water on it. Have you been sunk before in water with a hat on? <laughs> Whenever our son comes with us, he shoves me in the ocean. <laughs> oh, but it's so refreshing when you're in that environment. So that's good. Well, we're so glad to have you. We have known each other for a while, but not everybody knows who you are. So before we hear about who you are, you know how Hat Chat works. You have to tell us a joke. All right. Well, I have one, and it's almost Halloween, and I love Halloween, so here we go. So do you know who won the Skeleton Beauty Contest? No. Who won the Skeleton Beauty Contest? Nobody. Nobody, like body. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good job, skeletons. All I had right. To a lot of five year olds to get one that actually made sense. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. I understand that one. Um, all right. So tell us who you are, what you do, what you're passionate about. All right. Well, like I said, I'm Kathy Crane and I'm from Utah, formerly from Idaho. And I live in central Utah. And I have taught kindergarten for 25 years. And the last two years, I have spent as a reading specialist for a K-12 school. And it's just a great new experience for me. And I found that every time I have a new experience, I just grow more and learn more things. And, you know, you think that you can't learn more because you're old and all of a sudden you learn more things. <laughs> so um, anything else you want to know? Well, Kathy was just telling me about her new experience this year, and some of you might be in the same kind of uh, situation that she is in. So can you share with us where you are this year and, and what your job entails? Yes, I'm working. This is my second year working as a reading specialist, and our charter school is a very below level um, socioeconomic status school with a lot of high needs students and most of our students, the majority of our students are reading one to three um, grade levels below level. And so it's a very challenging position, but I love it. I love it. The people there are so excited and the teachers are working really hard and just new this year, we're working partners with University of Utah Reading Clinic. Just a shout out to them. They have a lot of th free things online. So if you find them, you'll find a lot of information if you're looking for reading intervention information. And so we're putting that into place. And so we have a lot of exciting things going, but it is a lot of work. 
Absolutely. And when you hear charter school, Kathy and I were just talking about this, a lot of times you don't think, um, you know, high needs and uh, the low grade level. And Kathy's doing a really great job as the reading interventionist to really help these kids. I mean, imagine three grade levels below and they're in eighth grade. I mean, that's that says something. So Kathy has um, developed quite a few assessments in ESGI, and they range from, gosh, pre-K, right, mm -hmm. all the way up through, and then she's going to tell us a little bit about the test she currently has in ESGI and what you can expect if you go and search for Kathy Crane in ESGI's Test Explorer, and then we have a special announcement. So go ahead and tell us about what you have currently in ESGI. Currently, I have the pre-K assessments that are based on the Common Core. Um, Utah has taken the Common Core standards and actually made pre-K core standards. And so I compared them with New York also has pre-K standards. And so my preschool uh, assessments are based on the core standards. And I think they're real comprehensive and I've had great feedback from people that they're really loving those assessments. And then I have the kindergarten assessments, which are dear to my heart because I've actually used those assessments for 20 years. And because I have used them for so long and field tested them on thousands of students, I just am real confident that you really will have real concrete information if you use those kindergarten assessments. Yeah, now compare. Now, Kathy has not used the assessments in ESGI for 20 years. Let's just make that clear. She did it on paper and pencil first. <laughs> and so. Then they all got translated into ESGI. And so tell us the difference between assessing with the paper and pencil versus the ESGI. Oh, yes. I, in fact, I should have brought it. I had binders that were this, this fat at least. Um, for my students, and I had you you know I had to run the paper copy. I still have the paper copies. I sell them on Teacher Pay Teachers, and I love having the paper just to look at for like one copy. <laughs> but I had a copy for every student in this giant binder, and then I had to hand um, grade everything, and then after that I had to go to the Excel program and put everything in Excel, and so an assessment typically would take days to do like the end of their um, trimester report card testing. I would say I'd have to block out maybe five days to get all of that assessing complete. And so then I took those identical assessments that I had been for years and years and years by paper. And when I found ESGI, I um, put those in ESGI and I would say from five days of assessing at the end of the trimester, I was down to one and a half days. Oh, and good. then after I got to be really good at the, um, using ESGI, I'd say easily in a day, I could knock out those assessments. And my report card, it would take me, I'd bring it home and I'd work on report cards all weekend long. I mean, my kids knew, and my husband knew if I came home, there was report card time, I was, you know, don't bug me, two days, I'm gonna work on these report cards. And when I first did the ESGI parent report as the report card, I pushed the button and there were my report cards in like 10 minutes, my report cards were done. And so I called my husband and I said, let's go to the movies, because <laughs> I was so excited. This was Friday at five o'clock and I was finished. So. That's so great. Well, look who's here. Hey, Lindsay. <laughs> She's, she can attest to that, getting her mom back and some time, right? You know, and just so you guys know, Lindsay, it's Lindsay, right? Uh -huh. I want to make sure. Uh, Lindsay is also on kindergarten kiosk, and you guys are going to want to see some of the things she has on there. She's a kindergarten teacher as well. So she, yes. thank you for watching today, and we're so glad that you're here to support your mom, and you support her in lots of ways, including on um, kindergarten kiosk. So thank you so much. Um, all right, so ESGI, you guys, check it out. Go to the Test Explorer. We've linked it below. 
check out all of Kathy's tests that she has in ESGI right now. And you know, Kathy loves ESGI so much, you guys. She actually wrote a song about ESGI. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the in on on here right now, but it's going to be linked below. Here, make sure that you follow this on YouTube. It's right here. We'll also put it below, but really, you're going to want to hear this because Kathy is really talented in a lot of ways, including singing, and um, her husband plays in a band, you guys. He's a superintendent, and he plays in a band, and he's, you know, this family is awesome. They've got so much going on, so make sure you watch their uh, video about the SGI. It's really great. Now, speaking of that, we told you that there was going to be a big announcement. So Kathy, do you want to do the honors and say what the big announcement is for everybody? Yes, I have some brand new intervention assessments that will be published on ESGI next week. Uh -huh. They'll be up live. And these are just like when I developed the kindergarten assessments. I worked years and years on them, but these, I didn't work years and years, but um, I began developing them last year. And so I've worked on them for a full year, field tested with my students and made all of the necessary um, corrections to them. Lindsay helped me, hi Lindsay. <laughs> and we are so excited and confident that if you have struggling students, that are above the kindergarten level and you ha cannot pinpoint exactly what their problem is in the path of um, teaching reading, I'm confident that you will have your answers given to you on those assessments. So good, you guys. So many. What are there, 19 assessments that we're going to add strictly for intervention purposes? Now, we all know we're going to have struggling readers along the way. And if you are teaching an upper grade or you know somebody that is teaching an upper grade and they're struggling with teaching reading, have them sign up for an ESGI trial. You guys, it's for everybody. It's not just for pre-K through second grade is what you commonly hear. But if you're committed to the one-on-one -on -one assessment process, you can use ESGI for any grade level, right, Kathy? You've got eighth yes. graders coming in there and working with you. Yes. Smelly, smelly eighth graders. One of my middle school teachers that is using ESGI with her intervention class, she's actually now importing her test data from her um, English class. For, for her six through eight uh, English class because she loves how the reports and the data looks. So you can use ESGI for anything. Thank you for saying that. That is exactly true. And if you haven't tried ESGI yet, sign up for a free trial. Use promo code Kinder Kiosk and tell your friends because if there's a fifth grade teacher out there that is struggling with reading, get them to sign up for a free trial, Kinder Kiosk, and then they can try it free for 60 days. And it's really, you guys, going to save so much time in the assessment process. I just cannot believe that we've had this opportunity to talk about all these great assessments and have a great announcement of 19 new assessments. I'm so glad you were here to talk about that. And because this is all about authors, we ask you to bring some of your favorite authors, and you mentioned that you had one that you wanted to share today. Yes, with I want to talk about an oldie but goodie, and her name is Joy Callie. And here's my favorite book on the planet, Mrs. Wishy Washy. And um, Joy Callie's old school, however, she is currently still publishing, and you can find her. There's a publishing company that is still publishing Joy Callie. And the thing I love about her timeless tales. Here's three of my favorite. And I've used these for 25 years. I had them my very first year of teaching and 25 years later, I was using these Joy Cali books and the students were still responding with the same joy because they're just timeless. They're, they're um, relatable text and predictable text, but she's written it in, um, you know, controlled, uh, vocabulary which is hard to find in a book and you can just do so many fun things like one time we were doing Dan Dunn the Flying Man and our school assembly was a cowboy roper that came and did an assembly and, and so we went back into the classroom because we had already taken lots of her books and made our own classroom version 
as soon as we walked in, one of the kids said, Mrs. Crane, we can write Dan Dan the Roper Man. And I just love what she does. You can dramatics, poetry, language, cooking, art, I could go on and on. So I know you millennials might not know Joy Kelly, but find her find her she's fabulous okay hold the book really close with the gotcha. author's name so uh, that we can see it so they can take a picture keep going closer 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 there it is joy cowley and then let's see the title <laughs> let's go close with the title uh mrs wishy-washy okay you guys i bet you can find it amazon has everything right you can go to amazon <laughs> probably find it <laughs> all right okay. yeah, you can't hear She's just this amazing. Cowley. Don't don't forget you guys, there's so much to do. Do you have any um activities on your website that talk I about talk a lot about Joy Cowley? And I have a free song poster you'll want to look for that um goes to Mrs. Wishy Washy because I've made a song, of course, you know, because you know my family. I've made a song for every one of her books. And lots of the songs have been the kids have helped me make up the songs, my students. So yeah. You are awesome. I love, I would love to be in your classroom. How fun would it be to incorporate all of that in every day, in every day? I love that. And you guys, Kathy also really believes in developmental um, activities. It's all on her website. Go check it out because that's something that we often are missing, I think, in these days. And so make sure that you get that. All right. It uh, looks like we are wrapping it up because it looks like Kathy left for a second, but she's back. Here she is, <laughs> just for a second. <laughs> I am so glad you spent time with me today. Thank you for joining us for Hat Chat. And you guys, make sure you sign up for ESGI with um, promo code Kinder Kiosk. And we hope to see you sometime soon out on the road. I hope we run into each other again sometime soon. All right. Take care. Bye-bye, Kathy. See you everyone bye -bye. next week. Okay. Bye-bye.